Hello all and welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to demonstrate my latest rig and it's an XP build with components from 2005, 2006, at least the CPU and the graphics card. Now the reason for this build and if any of you are familiar with any of my previous videos, I have um, a Windows 98 rig which is right behind me. And it's a Pentium 3 with a Voodoo 3 card, and it provides great compatibility for most games throughout the 90s and into the early 2000s, but it's really limited by that 16 uh, meg Voodoo card and the CPU. And I wanted some more reliable compatibility um, to play some games I'm nostalgic for from the early 2000s um, up to about maybe 2007, because anything newer than that, I'd probably just play on my modern laptop or my Steam Deck. So this machine here is really to hit that sweet spot um, of games that you know came out around that time. Think of Doom 3, uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Um, also just wanted to say like, I'm 40 and I was 18 in the year 2000. So I started playing computer games uh, around the time I was 12. And at that time I had a 486, I had a Pentium 2, I had a couple of Pentium 4 machines. So that's kind of my experience with computer gaming. Um, I also went to school for networking and hardware around that time in the early 2000s. Um, I was a technician in an IT department for a short period of time. But then I went to business school and I've been in supply chain ever since. So I don't want to project myself as an expert. So if I say something that is wrong or, or doesn't make sense, you know, I'm kind of rediscovering and researching as I go along. So why should you watch me if I'm not an expert? Well, I hope you get value out of kind of coming along for the ride with me and watching me experiment and watching me, you know, learn as I go along. So let's take a close up look at what's inside of this thing. And this might be a longer video. Um, I hope to show a lot of games. Let's get to it. Starting things off with the case, we have an Antec Sonata in Piano Black, and this is the first Antec Sonata released. Um, this would have released in around 2003. So it's mostly era correct with the rest of the components. I really like this case because it's black and it sort of matches my, my black monitor and keyboard and mouse. If you would have uh, saw in the intro video, it has two blue lights in the front. This pops open and you have two USB ports, audio out and mic in. And I believe that's a Firewire. Opening up this door, we have the on switch and the DVD rewritable. Uh, I didn't install any floppy drives. And looking at the back, we have a 380 watt power supply. That's also by Antec and it came with the case. Um, 380 watts is kind of low for this build considering the video card I'm using. Again, I'll get to that in just a few moments. Large fan at the back, 120 millimeter. Two PS2 uh, ports for the keyboard and mouse, along with USB ports. So that gives you a lot of compatibility. Sometimes I like to mix and match mice from, from different eras. Uh, onboard sound. This here is a DVI to VGA adapter. My video card only has DVI out and 
as you can see, I'm playing on my CRT uh, VGA monitor. So I needed an adapter to um, provide a connection. I actually made a mistake when I was first buying this because I forgot that there's two types of DVI, DVI-D and DVI-I. So these are two um, DVI to VGA adapters. One of them is DVI-I and one of them is DVI-D. The top is DVI-I and you can tell the difference because on the left you can see those four pins surrounding that little horizontal um, uh, slot there. That's what sends the analog signal through. So if you're sending it through a VGA to go into a CRT, you need that analog signal. I originally bought the one on the bottom and it didn't have that and I got a blank screen. So as you can see on the side of the case, we have one of these quick, quick release doors. That just pops right out off. So checking out the inside, I'm really happy at how well the cable management worked out. Everything's nice and clean and no messy cables. Uh, up top with the power supply, again, a little underpowered at 380 watts. So I'm going to be kind of running this a little, not dangerously, but probably close to the edge. Um, the motherboard, nice red, that's an MSI RS480 M2, socket 939. And I've got the one PCIe and can't really see it, but there's three regular PCI slots um, underneath. CPU, that is an AMD Athlon 64X2, 3800+. plus. So that's two cores running at two gigahertz. RAM, I've got two gigs total, so that's four sticks of 512 megs, DVD player, hard drive, and the GPU is a Radeon X1950XT, and you can see that needs extra power there with um, a 6-pin. Now checking out the graphics card, and I apologize, in the previous segment I said it was an X1950 XT, it's only a 1900 XT, but still this card is just massive and it is heavy, it's dual slot, um, like I said previously it just has those two DVI out and as a video. Um, the power requirements, I'm seeing conflicting information online as to what exactly this needs. So I am kind of worried about that 380 watt power supply, but I haven't had any issues since this thing, um, just outputs so much heat and it's very noisy. Um, in spite of that, it does give me the performance I'm looking for. Um, of the era. And just to compare, I have a, another card from the same series. And this is a 1600. And you can just see kind of the size difference there between the two. So this would have been more of like a mid range entry mid mid range card at the time. And this would have been more of a high end, maybe almost enthusiast level card for the time. Um, this was released in early 2006. The monitor I'm using is a giant 21 inch ViewSonic G225 F CRT. As I alluded to earlier with the video card output, which needed VGA, of course. This monitor is actually error correct, as when I look at the back tag, we can see it was manufactured in December of 2005. 
I know I kind of glossed over some specific details of the components in the build, so I thought I'd display everything in detail here. Feel free to pause, take a screenshot if you're thinking of building something similar. I'll also leave this in the description. So if you've made it this far and have enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. I have some more build ideas for the near future that you don't want to miss. Now on to some gameplay footage, and here is where the video is going to take a little bit of a twist. So my initial benchmarking and gameplay with several games using that 1900 XT card, that's the big one, was very promising in spite of me being worried about my underpowered PSU at 380 watts. I loaded a bunch of games last night, did a lot of testing, and Although I was in denial for a few hours, yeah, it's clear to me that that PSU is underpowered. It's fine for games like Halo, which is on screen right now, and Call of Duty 1, but I loaded up Half-Life 2 and Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. These are two games from 2004, which this rig should easily handle. And although I was getting great FPS in Half-Life 2, the system really started to stutter, and quite frankly, it was unplayable. Like, why would I suffer through that? I mean, I can play Oblivion and Doom 3 and even Crisis, but it's just so unstable, and that card should do so much better. How do I know it was the PSU and not something else going on? Well, I did put in that Radeon 1600 XT, and everything was suddenly 100% stable again. Again, that, that 1600 card requires so much less power than the 1900. The 1600 card doesn't even have that additional six pin uh, PCI power connector. So as I see it, I really have three options. The first is I stick with that 1600 XT card and get mediocre performance with great stability. Option two would be that I upgrade the PSU and give that 1900 XT card the power it needs. Or a third option would be maybe looking at an NVIDIA 7800 GTX, which according to my research requires much, much less power than that ATI 1900. So I'm thinking of option two and just getting a new power supply. They're cheap and I already own that beefy ATI card. And here's me playing Crisis somehow, even though the system is choking on that lower power. And you can hear how loud that 1900 XT card is. Maybe it's not coming through the video as well as it does in person. And here's some raw footage of me playing Half-Life 2. Apologies for the flicker, I wasn't planning on using this footage, and I needed to dial in the shutter on the camera. But here's me being frustrated and coming to the realization that I need to put in a new PSU. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. I know what I'm going to be doing the rest of this weekend, and that is getting a new power supply, and I'm excited to see the true potential of that 1900 XT card. So I'll have a follow-up video posted soon. Take care.